Good morning everyone, welcome back to a new vlog. So you're joining me currently outside in the boiling hot sun. It's so, so warm today. I feel like I said this yesterday. Today is definitely the hottest day we've had since we've been here. Basically, we're out and about today because we got up this morning and came to Target. Here it is in the background. We've been filming for Anna's main channel, so go watch that when it's out. This is the consequence of that video. We are now gonna go back, unpack all the shopping, and then I think today we're just gonna go shopping around Melrose and Fairfax, which is not too far from where we're staying. And then I think I really am praying. We're gonna go to Earth Cafe because I am starving and also I've missed Earth Cafe so so much so that's the situation I just wanted to stop my vlog whilst we're out and about it's currently 11.52 so it's nearly the afternoon now and I've not started my vlog like I said we've been filming for Anna's video all morning and now we're done so it's time to go out do some shopping experience the LA life and hopefully not get sunburned because my feet and my arms are really really fucking burned so let's go LA day three day two technically day three I don't know let's just go a bit We've just nipped back to uh, put the shopping away and this is what I'm wearing. I feel like it's a bad move wearing black trousers but I put it on this morning because obviously it's always chillier in the morning and now it's boiling and I kind of don't want to change. So this is what I'm wearing as you can see very simple. I need to try and find some shoes today because I'm sick of wearing these shoes. They're really really heavy and also they do go with everything but I also don't want to be that bitch that wears Balenciagas all the time. Also new hat, new me. We're going to go shopping on Melrose now. We're going to Earth Cafe so I'm starving. Let's um, head to Earth. <laughs> Alright, so we've left Earth Cafe now. We're just walking on Melrose. I don't really know what we're doing. We're gonna go to a few shops on here, but we've got an escape room booked tonight, which I completely forgot about. So like 8 o'clock tonight, we've got to go in to like more Hollywood than like where we are now. So we're currently just walking around. We've got a few hours to kill. In fact, we've got four hours, four, five, six. We've got four hours to kill and then we're gonna head back to the Airbnb, have some food, and then we need to head over to like where the escape room is. But I'm really excited because it's a really, really hard one. So yeah, that's the situation. We're just shopping on Melrose. I don't really um, know if this is a good idea because I've already spent way too much money, so. So it's been a few hours since I've actually filmed anything. I basically was trying to film a main channel video today. So I've been super like sidetracked with what I'm actually doing and not focused on picking up my camera obviously for my vlog. However, we just basically went shopping on Melrose. My camera died so like I did put it in my bag eventually. However, we came back home like maybe an hour ago and we just literally came back home, had some snacks, had some like crisp and stuff, sat down for a little while and now we are back in an Uber on the way to Hollywood Boulevard because we have got an escape room booked. Escape Hotel, is that right? Yeah. yeah. Escape Hotel, it's meant to be really, really good. I mentioned this morning super briefly. Hold that thought. I mentioned this morning super briefly that we were doing it and basically it's an attic vibe escape room. It's on Hollywood Boulevard and they've been super, super kind enough to gift us the tickets so that we can actually go in there. It's meant to be really, really expensive and also really hard. Like no one's actually ever passed or escaped from this section. So obviously how an escape room works for those of you that don't know. You basically get an hour to complete the room and you basically have to just solve a bunch of riddles and like, what would you call it? A bunch of puzzles, puzzles and clues and stuff. Like you literally go around, search the entire room. So if you don't escape, obviously they let you out anyway but it's just kind of fun you know I'm shit at it I always end up getting the face on I always want to argue with everyone and then I just stand and watch for like the majority of it because I'm the worst at it ever I really want to be good at it so when I'm not I'm just like fuck it like I can't be asked not doing it no, so, so good at it. Oh. Kira. yeah Kira's so good at it who's placing bets on who argues oh, I'll argue. I don't think I'll do anything lovely <laughs> We've arrived, the escape hotel, there it is. Are you excited? I actually am really excited, I just know that we're all gonna argue and I can't wait for that, you know, we've only got another two weeks together. Are you scared? <laughs> oh look, it tells you what's on the thing. Which one are we doing? Is Attic on there? It's not on there. So we just sat in like the lobby thing of the escape room hotel thing and we're listening to the guys on the desk. They told us to sit here, like we went up to the desk and we showed them us tickets and he said, alright, take a seat, perfect. And now I'm just listening to what they're saying to the guys behind us and he's saying the Attic one is really scary, these jump scares, live actors, is someone who plays the dead girl's mom. Anna told me there were no live actors or jump scares. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, so we literally just got out of the escape room now. It was so, so good. We didn't actually complete it. Apparently the guy said we were so, so close. Wow, copyright, hi. Right, that was so, so good. We literally got out there. It literally took us a whole hour. And in the end, we just stood in a circle like, right guys, we're just gonna count the time down because we're not gonna be able to do this. But it was really, really good. We really wanna go back and actually complete it. Because obviously the guy was like, you got so far that like we weren't far off completing it. So we could have- I just don't get where the urn was because- It was just really, really difficult. Like, and it was really scary. I think because a lot of the time we were on edge, like we were more concentrated on not being jumped oh God, because like there were so many jump scares around that thing. So we were literally just like, just every single time. Every escape room we've been in before and not completed. The guys then just show you afterwards how you do it all and what it is. But obviously that's a big one and that's a really good one. So they want you to come back to try and complete it. Which is why we want to go back and try and complete it, you know. These two are just trying to figure it out, you know. This is going to happen all night long. But we're currently walking down Hollywood Boulevard. I don't know where we're going. And it's um, currently taking us somewhere, but I'm not too sure where. So hopefully it involves food because I'm starving. Oh, fancy seeing you, yeah. Hello. Where's the Oreos at? I'm gonna get some Oreos, a drink, and then get in bed. Oh, yes, I'm gonna have these and a drink, and then I'm getting in bed. We didn't 